Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox and to a new show in which I bring you exciting news from the world of science and technology and explain it in the terms I best understand, that is, video games. This week I'm all about delicious hamburgers, as usual, from the future. The idea of artificial meat crops up all the time in science fiction. On the Normandy, in Mass Effect for instance, where they're eating beef grown in vats of science. You know what I could go for right now? A hamburger. Not vat grown, an actual honest to god dead cow. With horseradish. And this makes sense because it's estimated humankind's demand for meat is going to shoot up in the near future, so by the time the 23rd century rolls around and Mass Effect is real, please god, there just won't be enough cows to go around. With the global population growing from 7 billion to 9 billion people, by 2050, the demand for meat will double. And yeah, we won't be able to meet the demand for meat with old-fashioned animals. So imagine if you could grow your own meat without animals in your spaceship's laboratory slash kitchen instead. Dutch scientists have created a burger that's made of genuine cow flesh, or beef, that doesn't require the killing of any cows. How did they do that? If you guessed they hacked a chunk of meat off a still living cow, then you're incorrect. That's disgusting, what's wrong with you? Meat is muscle, muscle from an animal. By our technology, we actually are producing meat. It's just not in a cow. What the researchers at Maastricht University actually did was took stem cells from the muscles of a cow, put them in a lab, cultivated them so that they multiplied and produced lots and lots and lots of protein strands. Protein strands make up meat. Then they smooshed them all together and created a disc of cow meat or a burger. Mmm, meat disc. We take a few cells from a cow, muscle-specific stem cells that can only become muscle. There's very little that we have to do to make these cells do the right thing. They divide by themselves, and if we provide those anchor points, the future tendons, they will self-organize into muscle. It's biologically no different to actual real meat, and supposedly even tastes all right, according to the people who tried it this week in London. However, the project was bankrolled by zillionaire Google man Sergey Brin, to the tune of like a quarter of a million euros. So it's going to be some time uh, before we're all eating Mass Effect space burgers. Come on, we haven't even gotten the appetizers yet. That was the inaugural Science News Blast from Tell It To Me In Video Games, a new show from outside Xbox in which we take science and video games and smush them together like so many protein strands. Don't forget to subscribe for even more from outside Xbox and thanks for watching.